Hello, my name is Peter C. Hayward. I am a amateur Sudoku setter and I thought I would make a video showing how I set a Sudoku. So, what do you need? First thing you need is an idea and I have an idea and I'll talk to you about that in a second. Uh, I also have a cup of tea. Not, not super vital, but uh, you know, pretty important. I have my Sudoku snacks, a banana and a bar. If you don't have these, you legally cannot set a Sudoku, very important. And I have Eric Fox's fantastic program, F Puzzles. So let's fade me out and fade that in. So this website you can get to by just going to f-puzzles.com. And I used to set my Sudokus using uh, my iPad or pen and paper, but ever since I discovered this, ah, there's no going back. This is amazing. So today I'm going to record myself setting a Sudoku, uh, hopefully from start to finish. If I don't finish because I can't get it working, uh, you'll get a video of a failure of how to set a Sudoku and I'll try again. Either way, if people like it, I might try again anyway. I think this will be a fun little experiment. So what's my idea? Well, I've had an idea for about as long as I've been setting Sudokus now, so about six months or so, of doing Sudoku with the killer, which means that there are little cages. I'll show you what a killer looks like. Uh, there are little cages and they all add up to a number. So this one could up to 29 for example and uh, within this Sudoku sorry within this cage the digits would have to add up to 29 and they can't repeat so if this was a 9 then neither of these could be a 9 so that, that's a killer variant very common variant very popular I my first few Sudokus were all variants on killers let me show you this is my uh, Sudoku page and if you scroll right to the bottom, this is at petercheywood.com slash sudoku.html if you want to check it out. My first few variants uh, were all because I like the idea of killers, I like what they do, but I don't like tracking those numbers. So in my 29 example, I don't know what adds up to 29, I can't do that kind of arithmetic in my head, and so all my early Sudokus were numbers, uh, you know, cages adding up to numbers between 1 and 10. So this one doesn't label the cages, but here there's a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, all the way up to 10. Uh, this one took that a step forward. Uh, this one took that a step further, I should say. All of the blue cages add up to the numbers between 5 and 10, so the green cages, so the orange cages, so the pink cages. And then my third one took that one step further again. All of the cool colors add up to 1 to 5, all of the warm colors 6 to 10. These ones were not super fun to do. The more I, you know, the more you do something, the better you get at it. And I learned that these Sudokus are kind of fun in theory but don't really work um, I mean they're, you know they're, they're okay but I've gotten much better at Sudoku making so this one I'm making today will be my 16th I've actually made Ghost Python 3 but I haven't put it online anyway yet so what's my idea so the Sudoku is called pieces of eight when I'm not setting Sudokus I run a board game company you can see behind me here my different board games my first ever board game was a board game called Scuttle, a little card game called Scuttle, and for a while I thought it might be cute to make a Sudoku based on each of these games. So, you know, make a set of 15 Sudokus, one inspired by each of my different games, starting with my first game, Scuttle, which is obviously pirate themed. So the theme I had in mind, this is a long way of getting to it, was pieces of eight. And the rule would be that the cages aren't marked, but each cage either adds to eight or contains an 8. Uh, or I guess if it's a one cell cage you'd know that was an 8 because it adds to 8 and also contains an 8. So that's what I'm going to try and set today. So my goal is to make a Sudoku with no digits whatsoever, not in the cages, not on the board. I want to see if I can do that. Where every cage either adds to 8 or contains an 8 and that's the only rules. Uh, I also have this kind of secondary goal. I think it would be quite cool if the cages somehow formed an 8. Uh, so maybe not all the cages, or uh, maybe there's a, it's a larger 8, to see what I can draw. I am fully prepared to abandon this. I asked before I, I started recording this what people wanted to see in a video, and someone said, when do you abandon the aesthetic of a puzzle to you know make it solvable and unique? And so we might hit that point. Uh, my answer is after I've spent a few hours on it, I'm like, I can't keep on making this puzzle. I have other things to do in my day. So uh, in this case, once I get to about 90 minutes, I've been recording for five minutes so far, haven't set a Sudoku yet, sorry about that. Once I get to about 90 minutes, if I still haven't got anything, I'm going to have to start abandoning constraints, whether that's getting rid of the 8 shape or 
adding some digits to the board. I don't want to do that, but if I have to, I will. So with all that said, let's get going. The other tool in my tool list that I use a lot is a website called uh, jlu.ch, which is a Kakuro combinations site. And this is really, really handy for just working out what different things can sum. So here, for example, I've got 20. What are the different Sudoku cages that can sum 20? Here's all of them. There's 22. What if I only want the length three ones? Here they are. What if it can't contain a seven? Here's the options. So that's really handy. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm not good at storing numbers in my head, is just see what the combinations for eight are. So six possibilities. Let's get those in a little... Uh, I, I use this program called Envault. I think it's available on Mac and Windows. I'm using a Mac, as you can tell. Uh, so this is a little program that when you hold down on my computer control and space, it just pops up on top of whatever you're doing and you can use it to make notes. So I'm going to probably keep this off to the side. Uh, this is all of the different combinations that can make eight. So we've got one, seven, two, six, three, five, one, two, five, one, three, four. So my first thought uh, while, I was, while I was coming up with this idea is that obviously none of those make uh, none of those include a nine. So getting nines on the board might be the challenge. It'll just have to be every other square is a number. This also might not be fun to solve. I don't have a logic path in this. I just think it's a, a fun little idea and I want to see if it turns into a fun puzzle. So let's start by marking out the spaces that I would ideally like to form an eight with. And, and again, this might be completely abandoned. I don't know. Uh, one of the reasons I like setting puzzles in F, F puzzle is that at pretty much any point I can be like, oh man, I've got, you know, I know that the solution contains all of these numbers, uh, <laughs> but is it a possible solution? So then you can go over here and be like, what's the solution path? And they're like, well, there's a one there, great. And then this is a bad example because it's going to take a while to do, but it'll eventually say no more logical steps because obviously there's not enough information on the board. But the really handy part is that at some point it might say no possible solutions. And that's incredibly valuable because I'm like, OK, cool. I know that it's impossible to make this. There we go. No logical steps found. Um, but you can set stuff up. So let's, for example, put an 8 here and an 8, oops, an eight here and an 8 here and an 8 here and then fill these with uh, 1, 5 and 7. So this is actually an impossible Sudoku because where can an 8 go here? And so you can be like solution path and it'll be like, oh, oh, Peter, what are you doing? You, you can't solve this. And that's really handy to know so you don't accidentally. Uh, when I was, used to do it just on the iPad, I would be solving and think I had a puzzle and then get to the end and be like, oh, this is an impossible grid. And I would waste hours backtracking and front forward tracking. So this is really handy. The other thing that this does, uh, so let's delete this so it is a possible puzzle, is if for some reason you just need to know what possible solutions are, I use this a lot in my snake programs, you can just hit solve. And even though there's not a unique solution to this puzzle, presumably, yeah, that would be ridiculous, uh, there still is a solution or many solutions. And so by hitting solve, again, this is going to take a while because it's just got no information to go on. There we go. It'll fill the grid. So what I'll often do is have this to the side and then be like, OK, so I know that there's not many solutions to whatever constraint I'm working with, but this way there is at least a solution. As long as I don't contradict this solution, I can eventually make a solvable puzzle. I really hate losing all the time to, uh, to mistakes where I end up with an insolvable grid. So like I said, the main thing that I'm concerned about is getting the nines in. So for now, I'm not even going to bother about my uh, my eight constraint. I'm just going to try and make it so that there is definitely a nine. So the other thing that I can do too is uh, I use the little, what's it called, spotlight? Or I think it's called spotlight. Um, I use this to do sums quite often. So 45 divided by eight, for example, is 5.65. Uh, again, I, I could sit down and do this, but I, I'm not going to. So if all the if all the cages add up to eight, there's going to be a five remaining. So could I use that? Let's have a think. Uh, I've got a post. I'm, I'm on the Cracking the Cryptic Discord. I really enjoy that Discord channel. Great community. Lots of lovely people. 
And if you go into the set in page, uh, the setters channel, there's a little pin post, which is my philosophy of how to design a Sudoku, especially if you're a beginner, which is start with a blank grid like I have and a constraint like I've done and be like, okay, how can I solve this? At the moment, obviously impossible, so I need some clues. So I'm going to add some clues and then be like, what logic can I derive from these clues? Aha, this, this, this. And sometimes you'll find surprisingly early, you're like, oh, and this is enough logic to fill the whole grid, or this is enough to get to an impossible pair or whatever. And so you, so solving is, is a lot like setting, setting is a lot like solving. You follow the clues until you have information, and then you add clues. Obviously when you're solving, you don't add clues, but when you're setting, you try to solve it until you can't, then you add a clue to give yourself a boost, then you continue trying to solve it until you can't, etc., until you ideally have a completed grid. So, Let's think about this. If so, I've worked out that if uh, the remainder has to add to five, can I use that to get a nine in? I don't think so. Uh, sorry. If 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 these were all, uh, let's say these were all cages that added up to eight. So this was a cage, and this was a cage, and uh, cage can be max of three, and this was a cage and then we knew this was an 8, then this would have to be a 5. So I'll, I'll use this as an example. So we know that this has to be an 8, uh, which tells us that none of these are cages that contain 8, because I said in the rule set, every cage must either add to 8 or contain 8. So these have to be either 1, 7, 2, 6, or 3, 5. These have to be either 1, 7, 2, 6, or 3, 5. This needs to be either 1, 7, Sorry, no, this needs to be 1, 2, 5, or 1, 3, 4. However, because these all add up to 8, we know that this is a 5. So none of these other ones can have a 5. So that would tell us that these can't have a 3, so there must be a 3 in this cage. And as you can see from our handy little chart over here, the only way to get to a, a the only way to get to 8 in 3 without using a the only way to get to 8 and 3 with a 3 in the cage is 1, 3, 4. So we know that this is 1, 3, 4. So one of these has to be 2, 6, and the other one is broken because it can't have a 1 in it, it can't be 2. And we knew that going in because none of these have a 9 in it, so there's nowhere for a 9 to go in this cage. But I'm just exploring the logic at this stage. I'm not expecting to immediately come up with the puzzle. Uh, so let's have a look at it. So as I said, my big concern is getting 9s in because there's not, none of these sums involve a 9. Obviously, you can't get an, an, an... You know, the solution would possibly be like, cool, there's a 9, but I do want to strive to get a, a puzzle that doesn't have uh, any given digits. That's one of my goals. Or if it did have given digits, they were 8s. Although at that point, I'd just do a one-cell cage. Um, so how can I force a 9 into the puzzle is the question. So the only way I can think of is if every other space can't be a 9. So how can I make sure that every other space is not a 9? So let's say we knew this was an 8, and we knew this was an 8. So we know for a fact that there's an 8 in here. So again, we could make some little, uh, we could make some in here that don't contain an 8. So we know that they have to add up to 8. So for example, if I made a little two-cell cage here, it can't contain an 8, so it would have to add up to 8. So this would have to be, uh, again, either 1, 7, 2, 6, or 3, 5. And then if I did a three-cell cage, so what I want, ideally, is the two cells remaining have to be 8 and 9. So let's do a three-cell cage. And I know this has to have a 1 in it. Oops, I'm still in cage mode. My, my, this is a magnificent website that I love to bits. My main thing is that there's no, or maybe there is, I don't, I don't actually know all of the keyboard settings. I was about to complain about something I've never even looked up. Where are the keyboard settings? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, well, I was going to say maybe there's some way of getting back to given digit without clicking, because I like to use the keyboard, but... I don't know if that's the case. Uh, so one of these has to be a 1. So this can't be a 1, which means this can't be a 7. And this is what I mean when I say like you start to actually solve it as a solver as you're setting it. So 
these have to be either 1, 2, 5 or 1, 3, 4. If I made another 2 cell cage... Oh, actually, here we go. So let's get rid of this cage and let's do that same thing. I oh know it doesn't work, so it does need to be there. I was going to say let's put it over here but this could still be an 8 because every cage either contains an 8 or adds to 8. So this could just be 8 and then any two digits. Uh, let's think about this. One thing I could do, I just realized any cage of 4 or more has to contain an 8. So that's another way, rather than doing this whole thing where I exclude it kind of uh, manually, I could exclude it. So right now, if this was the final puzzle, these would be one cell um, cages. And that would tell you that they're an eight because that's the only way to either contain an eight or add up to eight. Happens to be both, it's a one cell cage. The other way to sort of force an eight in would be to make some four cell cages. So, or, or more in fact. So if this was a four cell cage, that's a five cell cage. If this was a four cell cage and this was a four cell cage, yeah, that's not a great example. Let's do a four cell cage like this and a four cell, uh, let's do a five cell cage. Let's go crazy. Uh, now this, this is probably not going to work because at the end of the puzzle I'll be like, I don't know what anything is. But both of these have to contain an eight. And because this one contains an eight and I know this one contains an eight, the eight has to be here. So that, that's another way I can get some information in. I worry that the rest of this will just not provide enough useful information, but that's an interesting trick. And now from that, again, we know that there's no 8s in either of these columns. So let's get our little... Uh, as you can see, I'm just playing at this point. I don't have a clear, like, here's where you start. I just want to make sure that it is possible so I don't waste my time and yours trying to make a puzzle that's actually impossible to construct. So what do we know so far? We know that none of these are 8. We know that this is either 2, 4, 2, 6 in either direction, 3, 5 in either direction, or 1, 7 in this specific direction. We know that this is either 1, 2, 5, or 1, 3, 4. So how can we force some numbers here? So if this was a, here we go, if this was a 3 cell cage, then it could theoretically have an 8. So this one would have to be the 8 if it did. Uh, so, however, if this is not an 8, then we know that this adds to 8, because neither of these can be 8. So if this is not an 8, then this has to be a 3 cell cage, which we know has to have a 1 in it, and these can't be 1s. So this is either 8 or 1. So we've got a, we've got a pair, and pairs can be quite handy for narrowing stuff down. Uh, and again, it, uh, yeah, there's no point in filling out the rest, because it could be anything. So that's, that's a tool we have available for us. I don't available to us. I don't want to use that quite yet. Let's think here. So this has got to be 1, 2, 5 or 1, 3, 4. This has got to be any of those pairs. So if we put another pair in, then this one can't be 1. It can't have a 1 in it. So this is either 2, 6, 3, 5. Those are the only options. Oh, it can't be 3, 5. If it was 3, 5, what could this be? It couldn't be 1, 2, 5, it couldn't be 1, 3, 4. So we know now that this is 2, 6, that forms a 2, 6 pair in the box, so that takes all of these out. So this one has to be, because it can't have a, it can't have a 2 in it, it, has to be 1, 3, 4. So now we have a 1, 3, 4 triple, that gets rid of the 3 there, gets rid of the 5 here, this is either 1, 7 or 3, 5. So we've almost narrowed it all the way down. Um, how else could we do this? So what do, I, what do I not have? I've got one, two, three, four. This could be five or seven. So these can either be eight, nine, five, or seven, this one. And one of them has to be an eight and one of them has to be a nine. So already I'm like, this feels pretty doable as a puzzle. I like this, feels like it's possible to set. I'm not confident I'll be able to get this eight aesthetic into it, but we do what we can. So let's 
put a pair here because we know now that this can't be 1 7 wait do we know that we know that if this is 1 7 this is a 5 3 pair and if this is 3 5 this is a 7 1 pair if it's 2 6 which we can actually force it to be 2 6 from a little trick we learned earlier so one thing I'm noticing in this puzzle is that the restraint of can contain an 8 is kind of unhelpful. I'm tempted to lose it. I think that'll make the puzzle very trivial. Uh, having said that, as a, as a, it could just be an easy puzzle. That's okay. Not every puzzle has to be hard. Um, it would be like a, a, a my first killer. The trouble with that is, A, I came in with a specific goal in mind, so I want to see if I can make it without that. And that's it. That's the only thing. So. Let's see, what do we know? So this can be any of the combos. This can still be, and in fact, this could have an eight in it. This tells us nothing. As I was saying, that eight constraint is a little bit, uh, a little bit unrestrictive. It kind of loosens things up more than I would like. I think it just means that we're gonna have to have a lot of four cell cages, which is not really the aesthetic I wanted. Having said that, if we put a four cell cage here and here, then, that immediately tells us that one of these, so there has to be an 8 here and there has to be an 8 here, so neither of these can be an 8. It's like a, sort of like a X wing, I don't know what you'd call that. Um, so this has to be an 8. So just by drawing this we've immediately got two 8s in the puzzle, which is nice. So these can't be 8. These have to be 8. And it has to have an 8 and it has to have an 8 in it. don't like this because of how much it's uh, constricted these boxes. I don't really have much to do with these boxes now. And the trouble with this is that all of these could just be anything. Like all we know is that there is an 8. It doesn't tell us anything else about any of the digits. So I've gone off this idea. Uh, F puzzles has a really excellent undo function. So let's use that. Yeah, we could do that. It would take up a lot of real estate just to place an 8. And I'm I think there are better ways to do it. So let's think about this. I could use the geometry and say, uh, as Simon so often says in his videos, every one of these rows and columns has to have everything between one and nine, and these digits add up to 45. So we know that each row, column, and box adds to 45, which means that every two add to 90. 8 times 11 is 88. So if all of these were filled and they all added to 8, the remaining would be a 2. But that's not super helpful because it's, again, you'd have to kind of force 8s like I have here. There's something interesting about it though, because if we know that this is an 8, Let's see, we know this is 45. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite good enough at killers to use any. Uh, as, as Prasanna, the excellent Sudoku setter says, if you want to get better at setting Sudokus, do more Sudokus. So I'm not, I'm not great at the geometry of killers. I've gotten, started to get my head around killers. The trouble is I can't store the numbers in my head, but I've started to get the hang of killers. If I was better at killers, I'd probably be able to see some magnificent trick and be like, aha! Oh, I should mention too, the specific inspiration for doing this Sudoku at this time was that I watched Fist of Mathel's 13 Killer, and I was like, oh, that's kind of like my 8 Killer, but different. Let's do the 8 Killer. That seems fun. I was worried that the 8 Killer would not be inherently interesting, but watching that one, I was like, okay, there is stuff to be done with that very specific limitation. So, what can we do here? This is why you need a banana. I'm going to have a brief banana break while I think. I need to narrow down these. Now one thing I could do is something like that, where the 4 goes in. I don't know if that's helpful. 
Let's look at the middle box actually, because the middle box has an eight in it, so we don't have to worry about that. Every cage we put in here has to have uh, has to add up to eight. So immediately, if we put a three cage in, that tells us see, see the banana immediately works. That tells us it can't be a one because a three cage has to have a one in it. So that gives us a three and a five. That gets rid of the five from here. If I even put the, this killer cage down here, then that would also tell us that there's a one down here. One thing I need to keep track of is what logic I have used. So right now I'm using the fact that there is an eight in this box and that there are two eights, and that there is an eight in here, which is I'm able to do, but if I later am like, I'm going to take this out, I'll have to either start the logic again or make sure that it just lines up in some way. So this can't be a three, one of these has to be a three. Which also, put, also puts a three down here, which is quite nice. We know that there's a one in here. Oh, and there's no three, so in fact, know that these are one, two, five. Oops, uh, I'm trying to get rid of the ones, and the threes can stay, and this can't be a five. So we know that this is a five. So we actually now know, that's interesting, I wasn't expecting that. We now, despite this box giving us very little information, know that this has to be a one, three, five triple. Because we have one here and three three and five and because we have seven eight nine that gives us a two four six here nothing seems to have broken so far yes it has dang it this needs a two and this needs to be a two okay so broken the puzzle that's uh, <laughs> to be expected to be honest um, the other inspiration for doing this video specifically was I watched Chris Seelinger, I think is his name. I've, uh, I don't have it written down, so it's from memory. Uh, and he did a, a Sudoku setting puzzle, and I found it enthralling. So I was like, I want to do that too. So we don't know anything, any of this anymore. So let's have a look. We, oh, actually, we do know that one of these has to be a three, but that's all we know. And these have to be one, two, five. You'll see me glancing over to check the notes because I really am not good at. Uh, Storing these numbers in my head. Now, as a uh, as, as an attempt to stick with this um, this eight shape, I might make that a horizontal bar. Don't think that'll break any of the logic, and it just means that I can stick to the aesthetic a little bit and get rid of that five from there. So actually, on that note, can I contain these? in here. No, not without, fortunately not without breaking the, that the 8 can't be in these columns, so I'll undo that. But I wouldn't mind trying to work out some kind of way of sticking to the 8 that I've drawn, having entirely self-contained cages. That's a little aesthetic goal for the puzzle. Okay, so what do we know here? We know that one of these is a 5, one of these no, we know exactly what those are. Those are a five and a three, Peter. You can see that. Um, this is an interesting one because the only constraint I have is puzzle uh, is cages. I'm sorry. So every time I'm stuck, I just have to be like, well, can I add a cage? Will that unstick me? And I quite like that restriction. I do have the cage can operate in two different ways, but I just yeah, I think that's quite quite interesting. You know what I could do. I could, I eventually will want to do at least one one cell cage as a kind of, as a, as a starting point. So let's do the one cell cage here. And then I can stick to my symmetry, limit things a little bit more. Not symmetry, stick to my, uh, my aesthetic constraint. Okay, at this point I'm actually going to clear the puzzle uh, because I've changed so many things that I'm worried I've broken some logic somewhere. So let's look at this. If I was a brand new solver to this puzzle, never seen it before, and I knew the constraint, I would go, well this one has to be an 8. 
this one can't can't add to eight because it's two digits. So one of these has to be an eight. So that immediately tells me that the eight is up here. It would also be nice. No, it's impossible. I was going to say it would be nice if there were no eights on the eight, but as you can see, they take up the entire column here and here. So that's not going to be likely unless I change the aesthetic to exclude these. Does that look more eighty? Eighty as in like an eight. Ooh, that's kind of nice. If I do that, I could even, if I'm going to do a one cell cage anyway, I might as well just flat out put it up here. Uh, given digit, because uh, uh, my goal with, with those cages was just to get the eight into that column. And if I'm doing a single digit anyway, I might as well do that. And that would actually let me get rid of this cage as well. Just to, I, I know that I have the ability to do that that trick with the two columns, but if my whole goal was to get an eight in there and end up using a single cell cage, there's no there's not a lot of logic to it, so I might as well just place it. Is what I'm thinking. So, I see this. I'm like, oh, this has to be an eight. From that, I can conclude this has to add to eight. This has to add to eight. Ah, now this no longer has to add to eight because this could be an eight. But let's continue with logic and just see where it takes us. Yeah, this, this, uh, this moving the cage up here has actually done quite a lot of damage because now this doesn't have an 8 in it and so yeah, so I might go back to that. Let's put that one there and those there. Because I can't, I can't do any, any logic on the center. I can't do any logic on this box, I can't do any logic on the center square and I can't do... So that, I don't think that was worth it. Okay, so we know this has to be an 8. This has to contain an 8, so it has to be one of these two. From that, we conclude that one of these is an 8, which means that this box adds to an 8, this box adds to an 8, and this box adds to an 8, because none of them can contain an 8, and this box adds to an 8. So we have a bunch of information. So this has to have a 1. This has to have a 1. This can't have a 1 anymore, so this has to be either 2, 6, or 3, 5. But if it was 3, 5, this box would be impossible. And I know I'm just repeating logic here, but this is how this is why I'm I'm relatively slow I think in constructing because I need to reiterate the logic. And normally I don't do it out loud. That's more for your benefit. But I do need to reiterate it to make sure that I understand uh, how people are going to solve it. So this has to be two six, which takes two out of here. It has to be one three four. Because I got into Sudoku from watching Cracking the Cryptic, I will quite often do this with uh, Simon or Mark's voice in my head. Uh, I've, I've not yet mentally exclaimed a bobbins. Actually, no, I have. I'm not going to lie. I've, I've, I've said bobbins to myself, which is not, despite being Australian, it's not a phrase that I've ever heard used before the channel. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay, so what can this pair be? Well, let's look at this one. This one can't be one, two, three, four, or six. So this is either going to be seven or five, which would make this one or three. It can't be a one. So this is a three, five. So we've immediately got some more digits. In. This can't be a 3, because this is a 3, this has to be a 1, 2, 5. This can't be a 5. So 1, 2, 4, 6. Okay, what would happen if I put a 2 cell cage? Let's do one here actually. What would this have to be? It can't have 1, 2, 3, 5. So it can't be anything except for, oh, can it be anything? It can't be 1, 7, can't be 2, 6, can't be 3, 5. So that's what would happen. The cage would be unhelpful. I'm tempted to do something like this, but the trouble is that this can just be an 8, and that makes the cage meaningless. Um, now, if I want to have cages all along the 8, this one would have to be an 8. So despite all of my protestations earlier, I think I might do that. Uh, actually, before I do, what's left here? This has to be... Oh, I could now say that there are no 8s on the pink. That could be a third constraint, and that would be kind of nicely limiting in the sense, uh, because now there is room to put them in these columns. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in my pocket. I don't mind that as an extra constraint then it justifies the aesthetic, which I always like to do. Uh, and, and it also makes the cages a little useful, because I'm like, every cage has to add to 8 or contain an 8, 
then for example I could put a cage here and we would know for a fact that this was an 8. So it, it gives me a little bit more flexibility. If I was a better setter, honestly, I wouldn't need that, but I'm new, I'm enjoying uh, being new. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these are seven, eight, and nine. Left in this box, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. These can't be four and six. Wait, no, these 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 can't be four and six because if these were four and six, this would leave seven and oh, actually, that's a triple, so these can't be seven and nine at all. Oh, that's quite interesting. Uh, so these have to be seven and nine. So these can be one, two, five, one two or three. They can't be four, six, seven, eight, nine. Interesting. Uh, one of the reasons I really enjoy setting is because it's like it, it's it's uh, it's like solving a Sudoku except you get to make stuff up. <laughs> By day I, I make board games and I'm also a writer so making stuff is very much a passion of mine. Okay let's look down here. I don't think I want eights on every one of these red squares. I kind of I do want that, but I don't think I can have eights on every one of these red squares, pink squares. Um, actually, no. You know, what, let's let's commit to that. Let's say that's an eight. I'm a, I'm a fickle man. Learn to live with it. So these have to add to eight. So they have to have a one. So these can't cannot have a one. This can either be one two or 4, because there's a 3, 5 in the column. This can't be 4. So what are we looking at? 1, 3, 4 is possible. 1, 2, 5 is possible. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, hang on. We're approaching a, a set here. Yeah, where does 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9 go? They have to go in here. 6, 7, 8, 9. These can't be 8s. Six, seven, nine, triple there makes that a two and that a six. So these can't be six. This can't be two. This can't be two. It's uh, it, it really is like the reason I like doing this is it's the exact same rush of solving a Sudoku, except I'm like this didn't exist five minutes ago. I invented this. Pardon the rattling. I'm readjusting on my seat. Okay, so what do we got here? One, two, four, triple, which makes sense because that's a seven, eight, nine, triple, seven, nine, pair, four, six, pair, one, two, three, four, five. Now, what can these ultimately be? These can either be, yeah, if these were one, two, four, no, sorry, if these were one, two, five, these would have to be three, four, which is impossible. The only place a four can go for is here. So that tells me that this box has to. Yeah, this is the only way this is the only way four can go in, in the box. So this has to be one, three, four. So one, three, four. This can't be a three. This can't be a four. Takes a three out of here, gives me a two, five pair. That makes this a one. This a three. This is a one, four pair. This is five. This is two. I'm fully expecting this to break at any moment now. Uh, one of these has to be a three. I know anything else? I don't think so. So none of this has really relieved my fear about nines, which is what I actually started trying to prove, which is that you can show where the nines are. I basically need to, need to, need to confirm, I need to, I need to establish a nine. If I can't establish a nine in the puzzle, the whole thing will break. Now I'm pretty sure I can because sevens and eights and all, you know, all the other digits are involved. I just don't know how, frankly. Uh, so that's what I'm most nervous about right now. Because once I have a nine, then all of the no, these nines and these nines are completely disconnected. So how can I prove a nine? The trouble is that nine and seven is disambiguated by these. So 
in order to get a, in order to, in order to show a seven, that's that's really a more useful question. In order to show a seven, it needs to be with the constraints I have in a box as the only options. Oops. So, for example, let's do a let's do it in a better spot. For example, if I could somehow show that this was a box that had to add up to eight and couldn't have a two or a three in it, then this would have to be one seven, which would disambiguate that and place a nine. So that's the only way that I can think of to prove, an, prove a nine, and that I think is going to be important. So that should be my next focus before I get too deep into this and distract by all of the, all of the shiny delights. One thing I can take advantage of once I get out of this eight with my arbitrary aesthetic restriction, one thing I can take advantage of is the fact that numbers can't repeat in a killer cage. So because this doesn't actually have to add up to anything, all we know is that this contains an eight and then a lot of other digits, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six other digits. So that could be useful. This as a, let's put it, hmm, trouble is every time I put a three, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to prove that a, a two cell cage adds to eight with one seven, and I keep wanting to put a three cell cage in to get rid of other numbers, but that doesn't, it's not going to work. Let's put a two cell cage here. We know that it can't contain an 8 because of this, so it has to either be 2, 6, oh, sorry, it has to be either 3, 5, or 1, 7. If we could get rid of the 5 from here, or the 3, without getting rid of the 1, that's the challenge. Okay, so I'm looking down here now, because if I could show that this didn't contain an 8, oops, sorry, if I could show that this didn't contain an 8, then we would know that this was a 1. I'm going to show that it doesn't contain an 8. I could put a 4 cell, I could put a 5 cell cage, I could put any, any size cage over here. Oh, actually, with no 1, 2, or 5, this would have to contain an 8. Aha, here we go. So this, even though it's only a 2 cell cage, has to contain an 8, because it can't be 1, 7, can't be 2, 6, can't be 3, 5. So we know there's an 8 here. As well as that, there's an 8 here. So we know that one of these three is an 8, and this can't be an 8. So this has to be... Oh, no! Wait, no, no, this, this works. So this has to contain a 1, and it can't be here because of the row, so this has to be the 1. I got confused and thought that uh, <laughs> 2 and 5 locked out all the possibilities, which they clearly don't. In fact, we know now that this has to be... Wait, one, one, two, five. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong column. Uh, this has to be 1, 3, 4. So we know that. I can't remember why I'm doing this, but it felt really good to do it all. Having locked in an 8 here, we could potentially do some interesting stuff with these. I don't I don't want to repeat the one cell cage too often. I've got two in there which is more than I want. So let's assume that these are all going to be three cell cages. And let's just see how that breaks or if it breaks. So one of these has to be one of these has to add to eight, for sure. Oh, and they can't both add to eight, because if they both add a date, they they would repeat the one. Therefore this can't be an eight, so that gives us an eight here. So it has to either be a 1 in this or a 1 in this. And then same thing here. This either has to contain a 1 or this has to contain a 1. So this can't be a 1. That's the opposite of what I'm trying to do. I really, I really want to prove the 1 down here. That's, that's my dream. So 1 can't be here. So there has to be 1 in one of these 4. Uh, just because of the, the pair here and the 1 here. Uh, pardon if, if, I'm, if I'm not expressing my thoughts fully. This is my first time, this is my second time doing a Sudoku video, but it's, uh, it's my first time doing one this long and one where I haven't kind of got it all plotted out ahead of time. The other video I did was a looking back quite bad Sudoku I did now where people were like, there's no logical solve to this. I was like, there is, and then I illustrated the path. It was the most 
looking back, it was the most ridiculously obscure path that required a 20 minute video to explain it. So now I'm like, oh, good job, Peter. That was not a good puzzle. Um, all this to say, sorry if I'm, if I'm going too fast. Uh, so let's see, there has to be one. What have we got here? We've got a lot of information suddenly. So I would like to prove that there's a one in one of these. So here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This can be anything, there's no restriction here. Has to be a one up here. This is why you have a bar, you see. Got to have a Sudoku bar. Not allowed to make a Sudoku with that one. My goal is to place a one here because I would put a seven here. I mean that doesn't super help me, <laughs> but that's my goal. I want to put a seven here. One of these will be one, two, five, or one, three, four. I want it to be this one. So one way I could do that is if I put a four cage cell here, then these one of these two specifically has to be an eight. And that in turn means that one of these has to be an eight. So we know that this has a one, and that most more importantly, these don't have an eight, and this one doesn't have an eight. So this cage has to contain a one. So one of these has to be a one. And then by regular Sudoku, we know that there's a one up here. So this has to be. Oh, this can't be three or four. So this has okay. So this has to be either one, two, three, four, or five. This can't be one, three, or four. So this has to be either two or five. And then this can't be a one anymore because there's definitely a one in this cage. Again, I'm sorry if I'm bouncing around a little bit. Um, this is the point where I would actually just quickly if it's impossible. Oh no, this is going to uh, it's going to erase all my, my lovely pencil markings. Oops. Uh, so that was that was not particularly well thought out. Um, F puzzles does have an option where you can preserve pencil markings and if you're solving like this then I recommend doing that. Uh, it looks like the Sudoku is similarly stuck, so it's good to know there's nothing really I mean it hasn't it hasn't treated any of my pencil marks as giving, so it makes sense that it's very very stuck. Yeah, no logical steps found. I am not surprised, my friend. Let's see if I can undo back to my lovely pencil markings. I can. Uh, let's just quickly check that with treat pencil marks as given, just to see if I have broken it. This puzzle has no solutions. There we go. Row six, column five. Oh, right. And row one, two, three, four, five, six, column one, two, three, four, five. That seems like it has a candidate. Unless I'm misreading this notation, that seems like it is an 8. Have I done something weirdly wrong here? Treat pencil marks as given. Maybe I put some pencil marks under the 8? I don't know why it said that. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, the fact that it thought it was broken is a little alarming to me. Has it forgotten all my, my pencil markings? No, it's remembering them. Okay, so I'm going to proceed assuming that it's not yet broken. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Very <laughs> optimistic of me. Uh, it's weird that it's not taken a pour out of those yet. Okay, cool. So let's... 
Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. I'll ping Eric and be like, hey, what did I do wrong here? Why oh, am I being punished? Um, okay, so this has to be a two or a five. So that tells us that this is, in fact, a one, two, five cage. So this can't be a five, which means this can't be a three. We already know it can't be a seven. So this is a one, five pair. This is a three, seven pair. Because that's our date. My goal here is to get a seven in, ideally. That would be very nice. Um, we know that there's an eight down here. And I think we now know where all of the eights are, which will potentially make the rest of the puzzle a little bit easier set because we can be like, yeah, oh, oh, actually we know that, oh, we haven't done this box yet, that's why. So we know that these can't be eight. So one of these has to be an eight, which is not very restrictive at all. So I'm actually not going to mark that. I got excited because I saw the eight in the cage and I was like, that means it has to be there. But no, it, it, it does not mean that at all. Okay. Oh, but we do know that this cage has to contain an eight because it can't add to eight. So this can't be an eight anymore. So one of these three has to be an eight, one of these six has to be an eight, and one of these two has to be an eight. So any cages we put outside of the... Oh, I will mark them actually. Any cages we put outside of those pencil markings have to sum to eight. Uh, this is this seems like a good candidate too, where I might just be like, here's a cage, uh, it has to contain an 8, but more importantly, whatever digits here can't also be here. It would just be a good way of um, eradicating some symbols if I need that. Just another tool I'm putting in my back pocket. So this can't be a 1. So one of these has to be a 1, which adds up, that makes sense. Uh, 2, 5 could... No, this could still be 2 or 5, that would be fine. What else do we know? One seven or five three. So I mentioned earlier that I made a Sudoku where the solve path was ridiculously convoluted. It's called it's called uh, cracking. If you go to my website, uh, you'll see it right here. It says tribute to cracking the cryptic, uh, and it's a Simon and Mark. It's an algebra one which I quite like doing. Um, and like I said, it was so, it, I marked it as five stars, which is it's one of the hardest puzzles I've ever made because the, the end is so ridiculous, so it's actually a dedicated solve video. What I was going to say is the way that came about is by me just sitting with that Sudoku for two days straight. Don't do that, because after two days you've memorized every little intricacy of the Sudoku, so like, I was very tempted just now to be like, what if I try putting a one, you know, what if I try to disprove five, three? And the trouble is that is that is flat out bifurcation. Now bifurcation is when you can't make a logical step, so you're just like, let's try a thing and see if it breaks. So that cracking uh, cracking Sudoku I've been talking about, it's not technically bifurcation. I it, it's like it, there's there's no agreed upon definition of how many steps it requires to be considered bifurcation. So that one. If you put a number into a certain spot, then you'll be like, oh, it's impossible. What if I put this number in? Oh, it's impossible. And it's only like maybe three or four steps, maybe four or five, I never actually counted, but it's close enough to bifurcation that I don't consider it a very good puzzle anymore. So while this is bifurcation, if it immediately disproves, so for example, if I put a five here and a three here, and I was like, oh, well that immediately breaks because this square doesn't have any options. That's probably not bifurcation, but I'm so <laughs> gun shy about it these days that I really just try to avoid it. Even a snifter of bifurcation. So, rather than attempting some bifurcation, let's look at, again, what do we know? We know that 1's here, here, and here. We know that our oh, 8 could be in any of these. So, what do we know? We know that these can't be 8. So, could I use this? For example, if I made a 2-cell cage here, we would know it had to add up to 8, because there can't be any 8s in the box. So what could it be? It couldn't be 1, 7, because the 1s have to be up here. It could be 2, 6, and it could be 3, 5. But whichever one it was, if it was 3, 5, that would put a 5 here. If it was 2, 6, that would put a 2 here. If it was, hang on, if this was 3, 5, this would be 4, 1 seems fine. If it was 2, 6, then these are unaffected. One thing I like, uh, I think I think the Kraken Cryptic guys refer to it as the New York Times trip. 
trick, not trip, <laughs> the trip to New York Times, what they call it. Uh, it might be a trick that they use a lot in their Sudoku's, I don't quite know the origin of the phrase, where you look at this and you're like, wait a second, this is only the digits one through six. Is there enough room in the rest of the grid for seven, eight, nine? In this case, yes, there is. But I've always liked that trick. I think it's a, it's a nifty little one. Um, okay, so this cell, this, this little cage has not helped us much at all. I could repeat the trick. What if I did another one? Oh no, this, this would break the puzzle because this would have to contain whatever this one didn't. So between them, I'll show you, 2, 3, 5, 6 would mean that these can't have 2, 5 and now both those cells need to be 1, which as we know is impossible. Hmm, I'm a little bit stuck, so I think I need to add something somewhere. One of the downsides of this puzzle is that I don't think it has a particularly linear solve path. I'm kind of jumping all over the place. It's not like this leads directly to that, directly to that. Uh, that's one thing I'm not great at with... Uh, I've been doing a lot of snake Sudokus lately. Um, they've been very well received. I've been very happy with them. And those ones I'm very good at, at constructing a super log... Like, you have to start here and build out. It's not something I've mastered in other types of Sudokus yet. Mastered, he says. I've mastered it in Snake. I have not. It's one thing I've not gotten my head around yet. What can this be? This can't be 1, 2. It can be, can't be 3, 4. can't be 5. This can either be 6, 7, or 9. Which is very close to a triple. It's only one off a triple. <laughs> uh, so, if I could force these to be 9 and 6 by making well, one of these a 7 and one of these a 7. Then that would... Uh, not, not a... Uh, by making one of these... yeah, if, if, I could, if I could make it... yeah, well, that's right, one of these a 7, one of these a 7, then this would have to be 7. So that would get my 7 in. And I could start to hopefully disambiguate these seven nine pairs that are springing up. I'm still very nervous about them. How could I do that? How could I force one of these to be a seven? There's a one in the box, so I can't do it with a two cell. And the one in this box... Oh, 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 yes! That's what I could do. Aha! Oh, I hadn't thought of that. I mean, I'm thinking of it now, but... Uh, if I put that there, it can't be an 8, it has to add to, here we go, now we're cooking with gas, has to add to an 8, because it's there's an 8 in the box, and we know from this one and this one, and these ones, one of them has to be a 1, so this has to be a 1-7 pair, which gives us a 9, which gives us a 7, it doesn't, oh, actually, oh, 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 and it gives us a 7 here, Oh, that's the opposite of one. On. <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's, let's follow it out. Let's, uh, I know where to undo to if, if that doesn't work. Um, yeah, that's literally the exact opposite of what I was trying to do. I was trying to put a not 7 here and here. Uh, so this one can't be a 7. Now I'm nervous about these. How am I going to disambigu disambiguate this? Eight nine pair it must be with one of these, but these are in cages. There's no possible way within my current constraints to disambiguate these eights because I can't force an eight into any of these positions. I can't. Yeah, I can't force. Oh, I get. Uh, no, no matter what I do, one of these has to be an eight. One of these has to be an eight. But with my current constraints, there's no way to disambiguate. So I need to go all the way back to where I put this box in, so there's going to be quite a lot of undoing. But it's not about the it's not about the time, it's about the friends you make along the way. How long ago was that? Okay, so can't put an eight can't put my eight can't put my four eight box there. And in fact I have to be careful of that generally. Anytime I have an eight pair like this, I can't put another one, so like I can't make these four. I could do this. That would oh actually I could I could just flat out place an 8 if I wanted to now, by doing a killer cage like that, for example. Oh, actually, what am I doing? This, oh, no, no. Uh, 
That's right, that was, that was how I forced the one up here. I don't even remember why I was doing any of that, but I did. It was, a, it was a whole adventure. Okay, but I could... I could force an 8 if I wanted to. That would break the puzzle, because one of these would have to be an 8, and this is an 8, and one of these would have to be an 8, so that's not a good idea. But if I did that, for example, that forces an 8 here. These can't be 8. Uh, sorry, these can't contain an 8, so this has to add up to 8. So one of these has to be an 8. This can't be that one. That points up here, it can't be that one. So one of these has to be an 8, so it has to be one of those two. So now again, I have to be careful not to do that, that same trap of... Oh no, I'm going to need to force an 8 over here somewhere. That'll be interesting. Uh, without, yeah, without, without running into that issue that I ran into down here where there was no possible way of disambiguating. But this seems kind of cool, I've made some progress. So let's use that 1-7 trick, because I liked that, where I know that there's a 1 in here and it can't add 8, so these have to be 1-7, this has to be 9, this has to be 7, these can't be 7, this has to be 7. These can't be 7. These can't be 9. Got to be careful here too with disambiguating these. What do I know right now? I know that these are a 1, these are a 1, and then any of these can be a 1. I know that these are a 1, this is a 1, and any of these can be a 1. I know that this is a 1, any of these can be a 1, and any of these can be a 1. So I haven't forced either of these boxes to contain the 8 yet. Oh, that can't be a 7, which means that can't be a 1. Wait, what did I just do? That can't be a 7, and that can't be a 1 or a 7. So that's a 3-5 pair. So these have to be 1, 4, Seven or nine. Those seven nines, man. They'll get ya. This can't be one th three four. No, it can be one three four. It would have to be one up here, three here, and then four. So it'd have to be either yeah, it'd have to be one four three or five. if it doesn't contain an 8. That logic only holds if this box doesn't have an 8 in it. I'm very glad that I didn't lose that restraint. I'm, I'm, I stuck to my gut. So if I could prove that these ones had the 8, that would give me this nice little pattern, which I quite like. Oh, and in fact that can't be a 3. So this would have to be 1, 2, 5 if this one can't be an 8. Surely I can do somehow. The way to do that is by forcing 8 in here, but I can't force an 8 in here because that will give me another uh, deadly pattern of sorts. So, got to avoid doing that. It's very tempting, but it's dangerous. 8 has to be one of these and one of these. Now it's very, very important, and I'm going to reiterate this again just to get it firmly in my mind, that I don't force an 8 double against another 8 double, because once I've done that, there's no going back, there's no way of, uh, maybe there is, but there's no obvious way of determining which one's which. If the other one's a 9 especially, that's when it's very, very dangerous. <laughs> dangerous, I live a life of intrigue and mystery. This cannot be 1, it could be 2, 4, 5, 6. No, that's it. It's going to either be 2, 4, 5, or 6. And these can presumably be the same, but with an 8 in there, and not a 4, because of this 3, 4 pair. So what have we got? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 9 has to be down here which makes sense because we have a 6-9 pair there. 
if I could force a 9 in here, which is not going to be easy, uh, then that would mean that this... Oh wait, this should be an 8 option as well. That would be bad. That's what I don't want to do. So I need to make sure that this is not 9, because then I have that... Oh, it's, it's not as bad, actually. I, I can dis disambiguate in that case. Um, the reason I'm saying I can disambiguate if it's not an 8-9 pair, let's say this was a... Uh, what is a 3-8 pair, 3-8 pair. You look at this and you think, oh no, there's no way of telling which one is which. But, in fact, if I had some way, oh, and this, and this is a particularly poor example, um, if I had some way of making this a 3-5 pair that added up to 8, that would disambiguate it. Now this is in the same box, so that's not going to work. So maybe it is something I should be very, very careful to avoid. I think I want the 8 up here. Oh no, I don't want the 8 up here. I think I want the 8 here. That, that's the ideal spot for an 8. If that's an 8, then I've got, I've got some wiggle room for what I can do with my others, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, we sh I'm just going to do a quick test solve. Oh no, what are you doing? This puzzle has no solutions. Why? Row 5, candidate, row 5, column 8 has no candidates. What do you mean? Why? How does this break if that's a... I don't understand. It seems to think that it's breaking, and I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's, if I've done something wrong, if I'm not understanding something, if I've... Maybe, maybe because of all these empty killer cages it's getting confused, or if it's just genuinely a really obvious reason that it's not going to work and I can't see it. So, this puzzle has at least 100 solutions, and no solutions make up your mind, computer. So let's... Uh, I'm just going to mark this... I mean, I can just undo, but I'll, I'll mark it so I remember where I started from. Let's just make sure that this does have possible candidates. Uh, this is a 1, and this is a 1. This is a 4. This is a 3-4 pair. Doesn't seem to be breaking so... I mean, it's very early, but it doesn't seem to be breaking. Why does it think it has no solutions? This is very worrying. Because if it's, if it's broken now, then I'm just going to find it myself in, in the distant future. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this box is fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This row is fine. This row is fine. Oh man, I really hope that in 20 minutes time I'm not like, oh, I see now how it's been broken forever. How am I doing for time, by the way? I'm a bit over an hour in. Feeling good, though. This, this feels like good progress. Okay, well, I'm going to ignore the rather alarming, this puzzle just doesn't, doesn't work. What are you doing? And... I don't think that's a 9, does it? No. Really, I really don't know why it's doing that. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, so, I'll tell you what, let's put in candidates, and that'll make me feel a bit better. Um, I, I'm a very, I've got very poor object permanence. If I can't see something, I forget it exists. So I, I'm one of those people who chronically overfill all of the boxes. So these can't be one. They can be two. They can't be three, four. They can be five, six, seven, nine. This one can't be seven. I think that's the only restriction. I really wish I knew why I thought this puzzle was impossible. That's mildly alarming. One thing I haven't done yet is use the ability to go between cells with cages and, you know, stop. So if, th if this was a three cell cage, then this one and this one couldn't have the same number. Right now all of my cages are very straight lines. Two, four, five, six. Six, eight. That seems to be in order. I'm trying to. Mm. Okay, I'm stuck, and I'm, I've eaten my banana and my bar, so I'm out of supplements. Uh, one of these has to be a one, which makes one of these have to be a one. One thing I could do is draw a cage in one of these areas that can't be an 8. It's really just that one area. Oh, no, actually, you're down here as well. So let's see what happens if I do that. If I draw a cage, 
can't draw a cage here because none of them can be a 1 or an 8. So, wait, why can't... Why is there a 1 trapped in here? I don't think there is. I think that might be an old pencil marking. Oh, right, because there has to be an 8 up here. So yes, no, never mind, that is correct. Uh, none of these could be a 1 or an 8, so that would be a broken cage. I was trying to, I was trying to do the thing where, where you cross the border. Uh, this is a 3 cell cage, but that may not be possible. So, what about here? This can't be 1, 7, can't be 2, 6, so this would have to be 3, 5. What does that do? This can't be a 1, so now this would have to be a 1, 2, uh, yeah, one, two 5 cage, where this can't be a 5 or a 1, so that would give us a 2 here. A 1, 5 pair here, so we get rid of 2 and 5, so we get rid of 1. One, two, three. this would have to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that would give us a 6 and a 4, this can't be a 6 anymore. One of these has to wait. One of these has to be a six. Oh wait, these can't be six. Oh, there's already six. That's why I was like, oh no, what, what what's happened? So, one, two, three, four, five. These have to be six and nine. So that's actually an interesting way of getting a nine sort of forced. I guess I guess I already knew. Oh, maybe I didn't know that. Um, either way, this cage can no longer add to 8, so it must contain an 8. No, I don't know, I'm trying to get rid of the 8s. So, so this one has to be... Oops, these have to be an 8. These can't be a 1. These have to be a 1. They can't be an 8. So these have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They can't be 3, 5. So this has to be 1, 5. Four. Wait. This has this has to be one two five. Yeah, these have to be because one and four here would make this a three. That can't be a three. So this has to be. You can see me checking the little things. I just can't can't keep these numbers in my head. These have to be one two five. So one of these is an eight now. Oh, you need that. One of these is an 8. Oh, I'm so nervous about this whole puzzle breaking at the end for some reason that is maybe... <laughs> this is a classic, I bet you're screaming at your monitor right now saying, Peter, can't you see whatever? The answer is no, I really can't. I'm not the world's most skilled at this. This can't be a 4 anymore, which gives us a 6, 7, 9 triple. So this has to be, can't be 1, 2, this has to be 3 or 8, of course. The thing that confuses me is it's like, how many solutions? It's got over a thousand, and it's got none, or over a hundred, and no solutions at all. Like, it's... it's <laughs> both are exciting in their own way, but I really wish I knew which it was. Okay, my, my, con my secondary concern now is I'm going to get to the end and just be like, yep, there's no way of disambiguating all of these things. So... This is where I would normally just run the solver and it would be like, oh, here's what we, here's what you can work out logically and here's what needs to be filled in. But uh, this has been disambiguated. This is a 3, 5. So I'm going to spend a few minutes just Sudokuing to see what I've missed. One of these, oh, actually this one specifically has to be a 5. Wait, is that true? No. Yes, it is. Uh, good. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think there's much we can disambiguate there. What can we see? 
Uh, again, I, I really should have flagged this up front. I'm not a professional Sudoku maker. I'm not an expert. I'm not a world-class genius. But I thought it would be fun to show my process, even though I'm not like, hey, everyone, here's how everyone should definitely make a Sudoku, because this could <laughs> spectacularly fail at any moment. I just wanted to flag that this is not a uh, this is not an endorsement. This is a fun, informative thing. This can't be a two. So I guess a six nine pair making these eight four. I'm enjoying the weird pairs I'm getting. I was worried all the eights would be paired with nines, but instead it's sort of weird numbers. Okay, so yeah, I'm not putting stuff in because I want to see if the puzzle. I want to see whether whether wheels are coming off. This whole area is a little bit alarming because I think I might have to pair these up as a 2-6 because that's the only way I can think of to really disambiguate this whole area. That would give me a 6 there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go... I know I just said I'm not going to put cages in, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it because otherwise this corner I'm very worried about. Okay, so the uh, of these, the only two cell combo that will add to 8 let me just double check that's true. Yes, uh, 2 and 6. So we can take 6 out of here, which gives us 7, 9 pair in the column. That's a 6, that's a 9. We've got another 9 on the board, which is always nice. Uh, these can't be 2, 6. That's a 7, 9 pair. These can't be 7, 9. That's a 3, 4 pair. Yeah, I'm really, really getting nervous about these pairs. Uh, that gives us a 5, 3. That's reassuring. But some of them are, in fact, going to split up. These can't be four. They can still be oh one seven nine. That's a one seven nine triple. So these ones have to be two and I think six. Uh, one seven nine three eight two six four. One two three four five. I think and that's actually resolvable, which is a big relief. That gives us a 4 here, which gives us a 4 here, gives us a 3 here. This is like the tidy up at the end. Uh, it's a <laughs> oh, I can un unfold all the things. I'm just really worried I won't be able to unfold all the things, frankly. Um, that can't be a 4 or a 9 anymore, so that's a 1-7 pair. That's a 1-7-9 triple. Yeah, I'm nervous about this. I don't think any cells are going to see this. I don't see any way of resolving this. So this, this is where I was saying that I might have to, right at the end, abandon my aesthetic and throw in a digit. Otherwise, I just don't see how these can be split up because nothing in the column sees any of these. They're, they're completely self-contained, so there's nothing that's going to like come in from the side and be like, aha, let me solve all of your problems, Peter. It's a pity because that sounds quite nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Uh, have we got anything else disambiguated? Oh, yes, that can not be a 7 or 9, so that's 6, 9, that can't be 7, 9 or 6, so that's a 2, that's 8, that's 2, that's 6, gets rid of the 6s and the 8s from there, so that's a 7, 9 pair. 7, 9s, they're tricksy. Yeah, so this 7-9 pair is, a, is in fact an impossible, impossible to resolve, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, so what do they call it? A dead, deadly pair. I might have another one somewhere that I haven't spotted yet. This is kind of a deadly, deadly triple. But let's keep on going, and I'll just have to probably add a digit at the end. Uh, one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this seven, nine pair is not causing an issue. If only these weren't completely disconnected, this would all be fine. It's all fine. Oh, actually, this one. Oh, could I do something with that? Oh, I don't think I can. I sh I've, I've remembered that I can put cages in. Yeah, I can make these a two, six pair, but I can't get... This would have to be one, seven. That's the trouble. So yeah, I cannot put a cage in to disambiguate annoyingly. 
unless I broke the rules or made up a new rule and was like, look, it's a cage that crosses over to the other cage. It's, it's a magic cage. It's a lovely magic cage. It does, does the magic things. But I don't like, I'd rather put a given digit in than add another rule. It comes from my uh, game game design background. Okay, what do we know? Four up here. So, okay, let's do it by digit. One, one, one. Oh, I could, I could, uh, I could pair these up and make a one seven. That might not be necessary. Let's see. One, one, one. Two, two, two. Maybe that's why it said this has no valid solution because of this deadly triple. Uh, <laughs> keep getting distracted. One, one, one. One, 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 one. So this needs to be disambiguated somehow, and we do have that in our pocket if we need it. Twos, two, 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 two. Threes, three, 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 three. Three, three. I'm just. I'm. I'm t <laughs> this is the most tedious way to solve a Sudoku. But when I when I my my brain's starting to burn at this point because I've been talking for almost an hour and a half and setting a Sudoku at the same time, which is quite a challenge. So I'm just doing it in a, in a very brute forcey way. Four, four, four. Okay. So I'm not seeing anything super freeing here. Fives are in there. Sixes are. There and there, sevens. I had sevens are the, are the problem. I was careful about nines at the start, I should have also been careful about sevens. Lesson learned. Ah, oh, is there any way I could? No, that'd be re required going backwards too many steps. Uh, we had a conversation in the testing channel of the Kragnokopic Sudoku. Discord and uh, sorry, my watch is telling me to stand up. I've got no, I don't have time. I do have to stand up. I will keep talking as I stand up for the sake of my watch and its hourly tracking. Uh, we had a conversation in the Sudoku setting Discord once that you know what if what if you get to the end and you need to change some logic? And again, Prasanna, who is very active and very generous with his time, said, well, "Look, if if you set enough, then you can kind of go back and tweak an early piece of logic, and the whole rest of it falls." back into place. So now I'm looking at this and being like, man, this eight cage at the bottom right, could I somehow rearrange that in a way that gives me it gives me the ability to disambiguate some of these pairs? And it might be possible. I'm looking at the uh, uh, is it, is it, oh, yes, I stood up, hooray. I'm looking down here. And if I made this the the cell. I'm just wondering how much of that logic from early would hold up. And I genuinely don't know. It might be none of it, it might be all of it. But even then I don't see any way of pairing these to create a handy. The important thing I remember was that the eight stuck out. So the eight could still stick out if I did that shape. But three, four, two and six don't combine. Oh yeah, two and six combine to make eight, and that's how I got that two two six. Oh, so if I did the exact same two six but horizontal. Okay, let's do something I've never done before. I'm going to make some history here. Let's unwind the puzzle to here. If I clear this, no, I need to actually clear the given digits, and then try to solve it. Uh, I can pretty easily undo to where I was. So, we're actually going to go ahead and solve this puzzle right from the start, because I want to see if I can fix it without having to add a given digit. So, this has to be an 8. This has to be an 8. One of these has to be an 8. Because one of these are an 8, one of these has to be a 1, and this has to be some combination of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ditto here. Ditto here. Because these can't be 8s, they have to add to 8. They can't have 1, so they're either 2, 6, or 3, 5. This one can't have a 1, so it's either 2, two uh, 6, or 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, leaving 7, 9 pair there. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is just me recreating the steps. I'm not like solving it at some kind of crazy speed. 
These ones also can't have an 8, so these have to be some combination of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One of these has to have an 8, and the other one has to have a 1. So 1 and 8 are contained in these cells. Um, what next? This one can't have an 8. This has to have an 8. It can't be there, so one of these three has to have an 8. So I've forgotten <laughs> some key piece of logic. I'm looking at this thing like, okay, I don't, don't really see where you're going with this, Peter, but I'm willing to go along for the ride. I forced another 8 somehow earlier, I think. I don't know how I did it. This can't be an 8 either. So, one of these has to be an 8, and one of these has to be an 8. So, one of the top and one of the bottom are the 1s. We know that. And that means that this can't be an 8. So, one of these two has to be an 8. Oh, one of these two has to be an 8. There we go. So, that gets rid of the 8 there. That means that these... Does this have to be 8? I'm going to jump to skip there. These can't be 8. Because, yeah, it could still be up, it could still be here and here, I'm pretty sure. I don't see why that's not possible. Let me just make sure I didn't skip any logic there. One of these has to be an 8. But then none of these have to be an 8. But one of these does have to be an 8. So these can't be an 8. And this one can't be an 8. So one of these has to be, I'm saying 8 a lot. One of these has to be an 8, which means that one of these has to be a 1. Cool. These can't be 8, so they have to be either... Oh, these can be 7. It should be 7 and no 4. These have to be 1, 7, 2, 6, 3, 5. These have to be 1, 7, 2, 6, 3, 5. Good to know. I thought I had a lot more progress in here. Oh, right. This, yeah, because of this. These can't be... Hang on. If this is 1... If this is 1, 3, 4... This could still be... If this is 1, 2, 5... This would have to be 3 or 6... I had some... <laughs> I had some logic very early on that I'm hoping now is not completely erroneous because I can't recreate it very easily. Puzzles take longer if you're worse. Uh, puzzles take longer to set if you're worse at solving them. It takes me a very long time to solve my puzzles, especially this one where I've been going for a while and not really been keeping track of the solution path. As you do it more, from what I can tell, you you tend to write down your solution path as you go. But because I was narrating, I didn't. Do, I mean, I guess the video is my way of writing it down. See, I had another eight. I feel, I feel like I had another eight. I don't know how. This has to contain an eight. Maybe there's something down here. Here we go. So these ha can't be seven, eight, nine. So these have to be from one through six. These can't have a one in them. So one of these has to be a 1, and because we know one of these has to be a 1, this one has to be a 1. I really hope this is the same path as earlier. Uh, let me just double check that logic. Nope, that does not make sense, because this one can still be a 1. Having said that, uh, these have to be 7, 8, these have to be 7, 8, 9. That's not super helpful. Um, Oh, I'm missing something. This is the only place 4 can go. That's what I was missing. So this has to be 1, 3, 4. So this can't be 3, which means this can't be 5. These can't be 3, which means they have to be 2, 6. So these can't be 2, 6. This can't be 2, 6. This has to be... There we go. There's a very early logic that I remember plotting out, but then I totally forgot. 1, 2, 5. This can't be 5. These can't be 2 or 5. I like saying 5. What 
what else do I know? One, two, three, f oh, these can't be three either. So in fact, one of these has to be a three. So these have to be seven, nine. I'll probably get to the end of this and have the exact same problem, but it's worth exploring, I think. <laughs> My brain is starting to get very fuzzy, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, these have to be eight, seven, nine. This can't be three or five. This can't be three. Also, one of these has to be a three, which I guess I already knew. This can't be three. Where there's so few cages over here, I'd think that I had plenty of room to disambiguate, but this side is the problem. This side is where all of the all of the triples happened. Um, okay, let's think about this. These these have to, one of these has to be an eight. This can't be an eight. This could still be an eight. One of these could be an eight. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't know that this has to add to 8, unfortunately, so I can't do much logic there. These can't be 4, these can't be 6, which means that this is 6, 7, 8, 9. These can't be one. This can't be one, two, five, because this would these would both have to be three. So this has to be this one has to be three and these have to be one four. This now has to be a one. Here we go. This is looking better. Two, five. Ah man. I knew I knew somehow that there was an eight along here. Maybe I don't know how, but at one point I knew that there was an eight because this one had to had to add to eight because it couldn't contain an eight. I don't know how I got there. These can't be eight. Gives me a nice six, seven, nine, but we've already got a bunch of triples, so that doesn't do much for me. Um, does this have to contain an eight? Maybe that's what it is. This can't be one seven. This can't be two six, and it can't be three five. So this has to have an eight in it. Now I know that this. Oh, and then also one of these has to be an eight. So this here we go. Okay, so this has to be an eight. This has to be an 8. This has to contain an 8, which makes this a 1. This can't be 3, 5, or 2, 6, so the puzzle is broken. Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong column again. This has to be 3, 4. There we go. Whew. <laughs> uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is looking familiar. I recognize this. This has to add to 8 now. Good to know. This has to add to 8 as well, so this has to be some combination thereof. This has to add to 8. These can't add to 8. I got a restriction where they can't even add to a multiple of 8, but that's a, again, it's just kind of a weird side rule that I'm putting in to solve an edge case right at the end. It's not very good design. This can't be a 1. This can't be a 1. One of these has to be a one. Oh, interesting. Uh, no, no, I don't know that. Let's see if I know that these have to be ones and these have to be ones. I can put a one up here, and I think I do get there eventually, but not yet. I do want to finish this video on this puzzle, so. I mean, not, if, if this doesn't work, I'm not going to go back and be like, let's try another thing, because I have to sleep at some point. <laughs> Six, seven, nine. Hmm. 
Hmm. I remember doing some more work up here, but I don't remember what it was. One of these has to be a 1, and it can't be that one. So these can't be 1, 7. This can't be 1 at all. Hmm. These 8s, I keep thinking that these have to. I'm going to get rid of the optional 8s. I mean, in a sense, aren't all 8s optional? I like to think so. I mean, literally anything that isn't one, three, four, or eight. Oh, that's right. I, I eliminated enough down to here that these this had to be the eight cage, but I don't know how I did it. Okay. Oh, this has to be a sum as well. And one of these had to be a one, so that has to be one, seven. I remember that. I was very happy with that trick. This has to be a 7. Six, nine, three, four. These can't be 6, which means they can't be 2. So this can't be 3, 5. This is a 2, 4 pair now. Oh, which means that these can't be 2. And because we know that this has to be, so these have to either be 1, 3, or 1, 5, so they can't be 4. So these can't be 3, 5, that has to be 2, 6, that gives me a 5 and a 2. This can't be 5, which means this can't, oh, and this can't be, that no, doesn't mean anything, <laughs> it's meaningless. Uh, these can't be 6, some of these has to be 6. Man, uh, I can tell you, Crack and Cryptic have done a very good job of making this <laughs> entertaining, because I'm just sitting here being like, this can't be a 6, so this has to be a 6, so this can't be a 6, so this has to be a 6. Whereas they managed to educate and elucidate while also narrating. I, uh, my, my already high levels of impressedness with their skill has gone up. Uh, pointing 1, 7 here means that's a 9, that's a 7, that's a 7. I'm doing it again. This is an 8, 9 pair now, it looks like. Where am I going with this, is my question. I'm enjoying doing the puzzle, and this, this is genuinely something to watch out for. If you're not enjoying doing the puzzle, maybe it's a... Uh, Maybe it's not going to be a good puzzle, whereas this one I'm kind of like, what can I find next? I like the kind of, I call it hunt and peck. I like, where can I, aha, over here, aha, down here. Uh, I know that there is generally more admiration for the solve path, and I do also very much enjoy the solve path, but I'm enjoying this kind of scattershot puzzle, which is good, because if I was hating it, I would not finish it. <laughs> because if I was hating it, I wouldn't enjoy it. That's uh, probably goes without saying. It's interesting, the 2, 6 here used to be vertical, so it didn't unlock this. And I wonder if that was where I stuck. I'm going to rewatch this video and be like, oh yeah, this 3, 5 over here stopped these. So this is now a 2, 4, 6, 9. Interesting. Oh, and this is where I managed to prove, oh, maybe I didn't, maybe it's a different puzzle now. Um, if I can get rid of that 2, then it has to be an 8 in here. All that's left here, all that's left, quite a lot is left here. Two, four, five, six, eight, nine. Uh, no, not four. So four has to be in one of these two. Can I eliminate anything else from that? No, it's a bit of a hodgepodge. Let's get rid of that. I'm, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so slow at solving puzzles that uh, I didn't I didn't think about that when I started this endeavor. Um, I was hoping that, you know, within two minutes we'd be caught up to speed, but no, I'm just a relatively slow solver. So there we go, that's unfolded there. That, uh, that two there turns that into a six and a two. 
doesn't do a lot for me, but it's good to know. This can't be a 7, which means this can't be a 1. There's a lot going on in this puzzle. I quite like it. I don't think it's going to be a, you know award-winning puzzle, but I think it's quite nifty. Oh man, there's going to be so many digits. Uh, 1, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9. That's ludicrous. I'm just going to pretend I never did that. Ah, what am I missing? Is there a naked single somewhere? I don't remember setting up a naked single. I really can't see what... I, I got much further than this earlier, I'm sure of it. Okay, let's look at, let's look at these pink columns. One of these has to have a 1 in it. So one of these has to have an 8. Over here, one of these has to have a 1 and one has to have an 8 as well. But we don't yet know which. I remember unlocking it through this square. It's going to be something seeing something that I've just missed. Or, honestly, it could be that rearranging these is just completely disrupted the flow. Yeah, maybe maybe the 2, yeah, I think the 2, 6 d unlocked that. Well, that wouldn't give me a huge amount, would it? Okay, well, let's take this opportunity to add a clue in, because I'm stuck. I, I had the 1, actually. I remember having the 1. How did I have that? I must have eradicated the 4 from here. That doesn't make any sense. Now I'm questioning my previous solve. Now I'm like, I've, I've done a perfect job this time, I must have messed it up last time. I honestly don't know what I'm missing. By the way, the, the fact that you can see me here is not like put on the video later, this is what I can see as well. So as I'm talking, I'm watching my own face right in the middle of the eight. <laughs> it's a little bit distracting. It's a, it's a program, because people are going to wonder, called uh, Vidrio. I get it through a subscription program called Set App, like Setup, but App Set App, which gives me access to a whole bunch of apps for a subscription. Like a, it, it, they describe themselves as the Netflix for Mac, for the Netflix for Mac apps. You can tell I've been recording for a while because my ability to speak has gone. Okay, I've got 20 minutes before I got to go. So, what can we do here? I'm just going to put in a clue to unravel. I think because whatever I did last time, it was either wrong or I just can't find it again. One of these has to be a 9. It's kind of interesting. The other one had to be a 6. I remember now. Why did it have to be a 6? I'm so stumped. I'm missing something that I unlocked last time. These can still be 1s. Yeah. In fact, this can be a 1 as well. Yeah, one is One is very available. Uh, one has to be here, one has to be here. Has to be here and here. So there be any of those, that's not helpful. Did I delete a box? I'm so confused. Yeah, the only thing I think of, is, because this was, this was two six this way. And that, but that only would have unlocked this. I don't see what else that would have done. What does my old friend No Solution say? Row 5, column 8 has no candidates. And yet, I feel like oh, you could put a 1 there. <laughs> I'm so confused by that. I'm reading that right. Row 5, oh wait, no, I'm not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, column 8. It's an, it's an 8. It does have candidates. It has to be an 8. I can see it right there. I don't know what I've done to make this software. It doesn't like when I put 8s in. Oh, now, now it thinks I can be an 8 there. That's so weird. Eric, your software is confusing me. Hidden single. Row 5, column 8. Yeah, I, I also thought it had to be an 8. Okay, well the computer can't make any logical steps either, though it doesn't have all the information I have. So, 
let's put a box in. Let's consider the fact that one of these has oh, it's lost all my pencil markings. One of these has to be an eight, so I can put boxes in here. Now, last time I had a, a triple here, here, and here, so I want to avoid that. So maybe let's go for something horizontal this time. Let's do that and just work out what it can be. So this is a two-digit. It can be. It can't be one seven. It can't be three five, and it can't be two six because any one of those would <laughs> ruin all of those. So that one is very restricted in that it can't be anything. So let's instead try a three for. We know that one of these has to be a one. In fact, if I put it here, then that forces a one into that spot, which is what I was trying to do many moons ago. Uh, let's put it there, and then I potentially have room for. So, oh no, I can't because whatever I put there will run into the same problem. Um, I don't think there's any way of solving that. So this has to have a one in it. Oh, these have to have a one in it. This can't be one. But it's a one here and a seven here. That breaks the entire puzzle. Oh, maybe that's what it was. This can't be a one because one of these has to be a one and one of these has to be a one. So this can't be a one. This can't be one. This can't be one. That gives me a 3-5, which is at the very least interesting. Uh, and that forces, here we go, that forces a 1 up here. And it can't be there. That's how we got some progress. Um, has to be a 1 in one of these four now. This can't be 1 or 8 or 3 or 4, so that only leaves 2, 5, 6, 9. One, three, four. Oh, one, three. yeah, so this would have to be 1, 5, where this is a 2. That would make this 3, that 5, that seems okay. I must, I must be able to get rid of the 2 from here somehow. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, this is, uh, this is completely bamboozled me, and it's my own dang puzzle. Um, at least I made some progress when I tried to do something, so let's do that again rather than waste your time. Are you trying to prove that I'm a clever boy? What do we know about 8s? Eight? Eight has to be in here. Oh, oh, hang on, we do know some stuff about 8. We know that 8 has to be in here. We know that 8 has to be somewhere in here. We know that 8 has to be here, so it has to be in any of those really is fine. We've got 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. And then, yeah, eight's very broad on the left here. Okay, so I'm going to resume up here. So I'm going to try a killer cage that includes that one because it can't be an eight. So we know that that's the one now. That gives me a seven and a one. And by the way, if I need to undo, I can undo to this cage and hopefully work out what I broke. Uh, these need to be either 2, 5, or 3, 4. Can they be 3, 4? No, because then what would go here? They would have to both be 1. So this is 2, 5. 2, 5, 3, 5 makes one of these a 5. 2, 6, 2, 5 makes one of these a 2, but we knew that. Two five. I could still be a one two five. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's do this cage. Uh, one two three four five is the limits there. One two three four. Uh, one off. Oh wait, no, we don't know that. Sorry, I was assuming these pencil marks keep throwing me off. Um, let's get rid of them. We knew that. So. These spaces here that are very. This 
can't be one, two, it can be three, four, can't be five, six, it can be seven or nine. Oh, it can't be three actually. Four, seven, or nine. Can't be four, so it's either seven or nine. It's very restricted. Oh yeah, this was that triple I had earlier. There's some way to getting here that I can't find. And as a rule of thumb, even if the solver can do it, if I can't personally find the logic, I will put in clues because I want to make puzzles that are at my level. <laughs> I'm not being like, look at me, I'm so clever, I can make a puzzle even I can't solve. I want to be able to solve my puzzles. That's a core requirement for me. This was a two digit. It couldn't be one, seven, two, six, or three, five. So that that's not an option. Yeah, there's no there's no more capacity for two cell. Uh, dominant for, for for domino cages in here. What's missing? One, two, three, four, five, so six. Any of these could be a six there. Oh, I really need to go in like ten minutes, and I don't want to go until I've <laughs> cracked this. Uh, maybe it's a good time to be like, that's not eight. What do you think, solver? You found a nine I didn't find, that's interesting. A bunch of pointing pairs. So uh, when, you, when you click solution count, uh, sorry, solution path, it'll just tell you what it's doing. So it's found a hidden six, a hidden single in box six, which is at eight. Hidden triple in row one, column one, column seven, column nine. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's just the remaining digits, which we could have done. Naked pair in box three, two, right, very two, column eight, and nine. So that takes out twos from all of these. I don't know how that makes a naked pair in box three though. Yeah, okay, so that's that's not finding anything I'm not finding. I might have to pause the video right now because even though I'm not done, I need to go for my daily walk or my watch will get mad at me. So I'm going to mark this as green because I think there's a path without finding that. I'm going to pause and I'll be back for, I was going to say part two, but I will really just do it as one big part. I will be back soon. Uh, for you, I'll be back instantaneously. So this is, uh, this is the equivalent of like, my kids are calling, I'll be back in a minute and then snap back right away. Are you ready for it? So for you, that was uh, no time at all for me. That was a full hour. I live in Hollywood, so I walked up to the Hollywood sign, had a lovely time. And now I'm back. While I was gone, I had a few thoughts. One thought I had, I normally listen to a podcast while I'm walking, but I was uh, so stimulated from two hours of talking into a camera that I just walked in silence the whole time. One thing I was thinking is it would have been interesting, I'm not going to start again now because that would be ridiculous, it would have been interesting if I'd made some little eights uh, rather than one big one. So for example, that could be a cage and that could be a cage and then maybe, what's the biggest I could make? One, two, three, four, two, two. Uh, that's a cage and that's a cage and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, there, there, there were, there's some interesting directions I could have gone. I have no regrets about my big central eight, but as I was walking, I was like, man, if I was to make another eight puzzle, that's what I would do. The other thing I realized that if you had four cages, so again, let's say that was a cage, that was a cage, that was a cage, I'll use a different color, and something like that was a cage. Uh, let's, let's do five cages. Pretend the, pretend the existing cages aren't there. Uh, so if those were all cages, you know for a fact that two of these have to have eights in them because, oh no, sorry, this one would have to be, if it was like this. Uh, so if you, had, if you had any setup where the, these could be spaced however you like, as long as these two are in the same box, I think you know that two of these have to be, have to have eights in them because these, all three combinations you can have here mean that one of these can't do that combination, so it has to have an eight, which means the other one has to have one of those combinations. So let me explain this a little bit better. Uh, if this was say three, five, one, seven, and two, six, great. Well, this can't be any of those. It can't be three, five, can't be one, seven, can't be two, six. So this has to be an eight. 
which means this one has to be either uh, 1, 7, 2, 6, or 3, 5, which means that one of these can't be that combination, so one of these has to have an 8. So if you had that specific arrangement, uh, let's undo, then you would know where both 8s were in those two columns. Just an idle thought. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with it right now, but if you <laughs> want to set your own pieces of 8 puzzle for some reason, then those are two things that might be useful to you or might not. So, if I recall, we were stuck, and this was the cage that I'd put in to try to unstick us, but also knew that there was actually some correct answer, or had thought there was some correct answer in a previous draft. Uh, so let's try to work out what we can do with this cage in, and if it breaks, we'll have to backtrack. This video is much longer than I was expecting. Oh, that was the other big thought I had. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I've made these Sudokus, and the ones that I did early, they're not very good. They're, they're kind of interesting, but they're not particularly amazing, and that's just because the more you do something, the better you get at it. That is how life works. So this is my first and maybe only Sudoku setting video, but if you do enjoy it, let me know, because I might make another uh, one or two and just, as with all things, get better at it over time. So these have to be, they can't be one, two, three, so these have to be four, seven, nine. Don't, th don't see anything stopping that from being true. These can't have eights in them, but that doesn't really tell us much. This can't have an eight in it. It can't be one, two, three, four. It can't, it can be five. It can be six, seven, and nine. Okay, so that's a little bit restricted. And we know that one of these has to be the five. So if this is a five, then where's my math here? One, two, five. Then this has to be two, one. So this would be four. These would be eight, seven, six, nine. Okay, so that doesn't rule anything out. Uh, this is the thing I was warning about earlier, where you can start to be like, if this was that, oh, I can rule this digit out. If this was that, I can rule a second digit out. Uh, having said that, I've just noticed this can't be a six because of that. So. 6 has to be in one of these three. That's interesting. 6 has to be in one of these two and one of these two. Then I guess one of these four. And then over here 6 is pretty unrestricted. Do we know anything about eights over here? Can this, I mean, based on how we did it last time, I think the eight has to be in here, but that's uh, it's not really a solution for this time. Um, if it's not an eight, okay, here we go. Let's look at this. If this is not the cage with the eight in it, then it has to be one, two, five. So this would have to be two, one, Five. or one of these is an 8. If, okay, so if this is the 1, then it's 1, 2, 5 like that. If this is the 1, then this would have to be 3 or 5, and I remember that logic. I think we got there after proving that the 1 couldn't be down here, but let's explore it. This can't be a three for multiple reasons. So if this is the one cage, then this is five, one, two. So this can't be a two. So the one is in one of these two spaces and the five is in one of these two spaces and the two is in one of these two spaces. Oh, no matter what, so this can never be two or five because one of these has to have a one, and this is the only layout if it does. So this is actually a six nine pair. And where else could, oh, six nine can also go wherever the, <laughs> I was treating these as givens. I was like, oh, we've cracked it. We know exactly, this is a one, this is a one, this is a two, this is a five. No, that's not how it works. Uh, so that's interesting. I don't know if it gets us very far, but it's definitely interesting. I mean, it got, it got rid of the two five from here, so 
Where can two be in this box? If this is the eight cage, it can't have the two, yeah. If, if in this column, two has to be here or here. One has to be here or here, and five has to be here or here. It'd be really nice to rule one of those out, but I don't quite see how that's possible. So one, two, and oh, oh, so this has to be a three, no matter what. Because if this is a five, then there's no way to put a one in either of these cages. And so they would both have to contain an eight, which is impossible. So this has to be a three. I don't think this is how I got there last time, but uh, <laughs> I'll take it. This is three, this is five. Uh, so where is two in this box? Two can't be in any of these cages because it's either here or here. Two can't be in either of these cages. So two has got to be in one of these. Oh, actually, let's look down here. Two can't be here, so two has to be over here. That's interesting. So this can't be one, two, three, four, five. It can be. It can't be six, seven, eight. This has to be a nine. There's a naked single there. That's. Let's, let's just double check that. It can't be one or, or two. It can't be three. It can't be four. It can't be five can't be six, it can't be seven or eight, so that is a nine. I really don't think that's how we got there last time, but again, I'll take it. That's a six. That's either a two or a nine. That's not, I think, what we got last time. Uh, hopefully I've not created a crazy unsolvable puzzle. The other thought I had on my walk was that I really should build this cage again and try to get the solver working, but you know what, I'm back in the swing of it. This is just, I've just accepted, this is just going to be a very long video. So I hope that is okay by you, because it's happening. It's not optional. So this is actually maybe a more restricted area than I thought. This can't be one, two. This one can be three or four. Can it be three? Yes, because we still don't know exactly what combination that is. It cannot be five, can't be six, seven, eight, or nine. So this is just a three or a four, that's it. That's the only two options. The seven, eight is doing a lot of work for us. What about this guy? Uh, can't be one, can't be two. I think this one can also, can be three and four. Can't be five, can't be six. This one doesn't have this magic seven. So this one can be seven, but not eight or nine. Three, four, five, one, seven, yeah. Man, that was an unexpected little discovery, that nine. It's a, yeah. I, th I think I said this uh, because I've just gone for a walk for an hour. I forgot what I've said, so pardon if I repeat myself. These little, these little discoveries are quite fun. Three, four, yeah, two, three, four, five, six. So this has to be two, three, four, five, or six. It can't be two, can't be four. But I think everything else is fine. So one of, one of the goals when you are setting a puzzle is you're meant to create, craft a, a solve path where you go, I go from here to here. Uh, I think that makes for a stronger puzzle. Again, I do that with my snake puzzles and I think that's why they're generally better received for this one. I'm just, I'm just trying to solve it because I'm, I'm really... I've given myself very restrictive constraints, so I am now trying to solve the puzzle of can I set this puzzle, which is invigorating. I love it. <laughs> but uh, I understand it does not lead necessarily to the smooth solve path. Solve path. Solve path. There we go. This can't be one, two. This can be three, four. Can't be five. Can be six, I believe. Seven or nine, yeah, that's, that's not very restricted at all. Okay, so this is either one, three, four, or one, five, two. One, three, four, or one, five, two. Oh, and one, yeah, one, th one, three, four would put the four here. And the seven there, that's fine. One, three, four. Let me, let me write it again. 
we know one of these has to be a one from these ones and this one pair. And that tells us that this cage has to have a one in it. So a cage with a one in it can either be one, two, five, or one, three, four. These can't be two. So if these are the one, then this would have to be the two. These can't be three, four, because of that. So if this is a one, three, four, that would have to be the one. So this has to be a one or a two. Wait, hang on. Oh yeah, this, this can't be a one. So that one in there. I've done something wrong here. Hand. If this is a one, two, five, this has to be a two. If this is a one, three, four, this has to be the one, which it can't be. So this has to be a two. This is a four. This is a one, five pair. That makes this a seven. I am so very curious as to how <laughs> if this is how I got there last time, because none of this is familiar to me. <laughs> I don't remember any of that logic at all. That has to be a one, that has to be a five. That tells me that this can't be a one. And we worked out this can't be one, three, four. It'd have to be one, two, five. And this can't be a five. Why can't this be a five? Because of this three, five. Okay, so this is the cage with the eight in it. Uh, which makes this a one, two, five. This is where I got last time, but I don't think I got here the same way. I'm, yeah, when I'm, I'm going to be just as interested to, just as interested, I'm going to be very interested to watch this video back because that has to be a 9, this can't be a 2 or a 9, that's a 6, that's a 4, that's a 6, now we're coming along, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which we knew one of those had to be an 8, one of these has to be an 8, See, we placed all the ones. One, yes. Interesting. Okay. And then this has to be a seven, I believe. Because of these sevens and this seven. Uh, this puzzle's going to break. Uh, <laughs> just, I know it's going to break. I'm, I'm a smidge nervous about it. What else do we know? Six, 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 that's fine. Oh, here we go. These are a pair. This has to be a two, five pair, it looks like. We can resolve that. That resolves these. I like all this resolving. Uh, after I finish this, I'm going to do it again. I might just time lapse it rather than have you watch me do this puzzle a third time, but I, I do need to solve it again before I put it out there. Uh, generally, I will make a set a puzzle solve it myself, solve it a second time, and then put it on online for some, uh, into the Discord channel for other people to have a crack at. What can these be? One, two, three, oh, actually, I can do the box. Uh, three, eight, four, one of these is a nine. These can't be three or four, so that's eight, that's nine. Oh, hey, this is unraveling some stuff that I was worried would never be unraveled. These are a three, nine pair, because I've still got room to potentially put a box up here. No, I don't actually, without a one, two, or three, I cannot put a box up. One of these has to be an eight. This can't be a seven or a nine anymore, so that's a four, that's a seven. Oh, I like. I like that. I like resolving this area, which I couldn't do last time for some reason. And also down here, six and nine, three and four, nine and three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am I am always way more excited when I manage to unravel digits in a puzzle I'm setting than a puzzle I'm solving, because it's a puzzle I'm solving I know has a solution. A puzzle I'm setting might not, just might be completely broken. Uh, what's up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No! Deadly pattern! No! Let's do everything else and I might just have to place a nine so this isn't a infinitely long video. Deadly pattern. Dang it. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The three resolves that. Another three. That's going to be a four six pair. Oh, have we got a completely broken area down here? That's unexpected. Does this resolve? Two five. What is it? Two three four five six. Wow, that's like a deadly quintuple or, or, or decktuple. <laughs> that's crazy. So we've got two deadly patterns of this. It was real close though, now I am tempted to go back because I don't want to resolve, I don't want to add two, digit, two digits in, that would be crazy. But one digit is doable. What could I do to resolve this? Eights are in. Oh, I could set a, could I set a cage with an eight to say, look, the eight has to be in this cage and it can't repeat a digit. I don't think so. That eight's in a cage, that eight's in a cage, that eight's in a cage. Cage, 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 uncaged, uncaged. So I do have some spare eights, but I don't have any way of getting to them, I don't think. This needed the, this, this got me that one earlier. If this was that, I don't think that would Put a four here and a two, yeah, they would, they would break the puzzle in a bunch of different ways. Uh, so at this stage, what I would normally do as a setter, honestly, is just like change that cage to be there and then try to solve the puzzle again. I won't put you through that. Uh, I might, I might time lapse it because I'm I, right now. I could just put say a six here and a, a seven here and just be like seven eight nine uh, six seven eight. Look. Just like the numbers, you know, six over here, seven over here, it's a six, seven, eight. Uh, it doesn't hold a huge amount of appeal, honestly. It's not, not a very tempting prospect. Um, yeah, if only there was some way I could use this eight and get down to this seven. Or oh, where's the nine? The nine's in a box. Uh, that, would, that would be very lovely because you can't repeat a seven. I mean, what if I move the three, four, one over here? That would be interesting. Okay, right, so as I said, uh, let's turn myself up again. As I said, I am going to, hello, it's me. Uh, I'm going to try some stuff and just time lapse it. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll record it I'll put it in the video right now as a time lapse, and if you want extra credit, there'll be a link down the bottom to the extended video where I just try a bunch of stuff until it works. So if you're just watching this video and nothing else, uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. If you are watching for the full full puzzle set setting experience, then just click the link and you can join me on my journey of experimentation. Hello! So, uh, as you saw, I just kept on trying stuff until I got a grid that works, and plus side, I got a grid that works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and highlight some of these because I like my little eight shape. As I was putting this into a new grid to solve, uh, the final step is that I'm just going to solve it. Just going to solve it like it was a puzzle because I want to make sure that there are logical steps and that it's enjoyable and that I haven't somehow broken it. So uh, as I was putting it in, I realized it would be really nice if this was a single, uh, a single cell, a, a single cage. That symmetry would have been very pleasing, but it is not. And we all have to just learn to live with our mistakes. 
let's have a look at how to solve this. Uh, I might genuinely after this do another piece of 8-1 because I've, I've learned so much logic that I'm like, I think I could do a better puzzle much faster. Uh, so first of all, the single cages have to be 8. That means that this has to contain a 1. This has to be a genuine sum. Let's say it was, I don't know, three, five. Oh no, that's gonna ruin this cage, it'll be broken. Therefore, it can't be one, seven, it has to be two, six. This also has to be a genuine sum, can be either one, seven or three, five. Now that there's a two not available, this has to be one, three, four. This also has to be a genuine one, uh, it has to have a one in it. Oh, what about this cage, what can this be? Well, it can't be one, seven, it can't be, Wait, why can't it be 2-6? Oh, it can't be 2-6 because they both see this one. Therefore, this must be 3-5. There's a 3 in here. That's a 5. That's a 3. That resolves this down to 1-2-5. Two, this one can't be a 5. Because of the two 8s we've placed, we know that there is an 8 down here. Uh, oh, look, these cages means that one of them has to have an 8 and the other one has to be a set. Uh, sorry, one of them has to have an 8. It's, it's just turned 2 a.m. here. Uh, one of these cages on each side has to have a 1, one of them has to have an 8. Therefore, this can't have a 1, which means this can't have a 7. Uh, what could it be if it was... Why? Hmm. Okay, I've jumped ahead. There's something missing there. What about this? Can this be 1, 7? No. Can it be 2, 6? No. Can it be 3, 5? No. This has to have an 8 in it. Therefore, this one has to be either 1, 7 or 2, 6. This one can be any of them. Uh, I've done this out of order. This has to have an 8 in it. But we know that one of these is an 8. We know that one of these side ones is an 8. So none of these can be an 8. Therefore, this one has to be the 8. What can this be? Uh, anything, actually. It's very, very open. So let's not do that one right now. This, again, has to have a 1 in it, uh, so it has to be something in that set. These have to be 7 and 9. These cannot be 1, 2, 3, they can be 4, they can't be 5, 7, 8 or 9. Therefore, these can't be 1, no, these can't be 4. Five, four, six, seven, eight, or nine. So these are one, two, three, five. The only place that six, seven, eight, nine can go is in this box. These can't be eight. These normally can't be something at this stage, but I'm not there yet. These can't. Whoop, whoop. These can't be one. And if these were a. If these were three and five then this would have nowhere to be, so this has to have a 2 in it. Wait, if these were 3 and 5, yeah, same, same logic as up here. If these were 3 and 5, then this would have no, no possibilities. So these have to have a 2 in it, which means there can't be a 2 in this set. It must be 1, 3, 4 that takes the 3 back out of here. This can't be a 4 because of the 4, 6 pair. 2, 5 puts a 1 here, that puts a 2 here, that puts a 5 here. If, uh, Two five pair we already knew about. Uh, the one up there places a three here. These can't be three. That's a lovely one four pair for us now. These eights and this eight means that this has to have a one in it. This one means it has to go here. This two five means it has to be a three and a four. Uh, there is an 8 here, and both 1 and 3 are taken, so this has to be 2, 6. That only leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, I've done this in a different order. Normally I find this as a naked single 9. Uh, let's look at... Let's look at this. So this can't have an 8 in it because of these. This can't have an 8 in it, so the 8 must be up here specifically that places an 8 here. That means that this box has to have a 1 and then whatever else it'll have in that set. Uh, I'm 
normally have isolated a one here, but I haven't done that yet. This, this is why I test in case I, I made a le logical leap earlier. I mean, it, it's not too fa fast to test, be it's not too slow to test because I know all of the little factoids, but uh, I do try to do it logically. I, I know the steps, but I don't, I don't just enter the numbers because then I might be making an assumption. If, I'm, if, if I do it purely logically, then I'm less likely to make that assumption. It does, does still sometimes happen. One of my very early puzzles, um, this one, 10 to five, uh, there was a box up here. I think I actually ended up getting rid of the box entirely where I thought there was only one way to make eight <laughs> uh, in three digits. I thought it had to be one, three, four. And the fact that it was one, two, five just never occurred to me. The one, two, five combination, I was just like, that doesn't exist. So for a lot of solves, I was like, doop, 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 perfect logical path. I sent it to my poor sister. She tried to solve it, knew that there were two ways to get to eight and completely... <laughs> It completely ruined the puzzle. Uh, she was, she was, she wasn't uh, uh, horrible about it or anything like that. But she was a bit like, "Hey, maybe, maybe make sure your puzzle works before I put an hour into it." Which is a very fair request. Um, what do we know about this? This can't be one, and this can't be one. So it's either the ones here or the ones here. Yeah, normally at this stage I'm able to lock a one in here. Oh, there we go. So this can't be a one, but I know that one of these is a one. And these ones means that I can, there we go, I can lock a one in here, which means that this is a one seven pair, uh, which gives me a nine and a seven. And it used to give me a seven here, but it doesn't anymore. Um, this is normally resolvable down as well, but it's not doing it for me today. So let's look over here. Let's look at this. this is the thing that I added to completely finish the last puzzle. This two six down here and this uh, up here is what made it look a uniquely solvable puzzle. And I was very nervous about this one. If you watch the extra content video, you'll see I spent probably about 10 minutes trying to work out an alternative because this one felt like it was going to ruin the solve path at this point. So let's see, not ruin, just radically simplify. Let's see if it does. Can this add to three? Uh, can this add to three? No, it can't. Can this add to eight? I have to have a one in it. The one couldn't be here, couldn't be here. Could this be a one? I don't see why not. Uh, these can't be a one because of that. But that doesn't tell me a whole lot. Okay, good. This doesn't seem to be completely unraveling the puzzle, which is always nice. This can be anything. Eight has to be up here. Oh, because eight has to be up here. This has to be a real sum. So one of these has to be a one. My computer is really struggling because of this uh, enormous recording. This is in the hundreds of gigabytes to record this whole screen for this long. And my phone is still recording the audio good. Okay, so. Let's think about this. What am I missing here? Um, if this is a one, the one has to be down here. If this is the one, it has to be up here. If that's the case, this will be the one, and this can't be. If this is a one, then this is not. There's new logic introduced by this, so I haven't actually explored this. If this is a one, then there has to be an eight in one of these three. If one of these is a one, then there has to be an eight in one of these three. These both seem perfectly reasonable to me. Let's look at this column. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got sevens locked in, so that gives me a lovely little seven. 6, 9 means that this can't be 2, 6. That's how I resolve that. So this can't be 3, 5. So the remaining cells here have to be... Uh, there's only four of them, so 2, 4, 6, and 9. Okay, if this is a 2, then this has to be 1, 5. If that is a 4, then this has to be 1, 3. Nothing wrong with that as far as I can see. 
what about this bad boy? It can't be 1, 7. It can either be 2, 6, or 3, 5. If this was 3, 5, again, we'd run into that classic problem where there's nothing put here. So that gives me a 5 here and a 2 here. This can no longer be a 5. 5 has to be in one of those two. That means this can't be a 5. And in a few minutes, I'll be able to prove it can't be a 7. I don't quite remember how to do that, but I know that's the next stage. Um... Oh, my computer is... I don't, I don't know how much this flickering is, is appearing for you, but it's just like, Peter, what are you doing? You're giving us a lot of work to do. We're not super happy about this. To which I say, hey, I can get rid of one from here. So this has to be a 3-5 pair, which means... So this has to be either 3 or a 5. Which means if this is 1-2-5, that's a 3. If this is 1-3-4, that's a 5. It can't be 1-3-4. This is a 3-4 pair. Therefore, one of these two will be 1, 2, 5, this is a 3, this is a 5, this is a 4, this is a 3. I noticed in my in the little bonus video I kept missing this 3 which cuts that out, I don't think it makes a big difference, but it was handy. It was worth spotting. Uh, let's see, so this has to be either 1, 2, 5 here, and that would be 1, 2, 5 or it has to be 1, 2, 5. Either way, this can't be a 5. Uh, the next step is over here somewhere. This has to be either a 2 or a 4. Ah, here we go. 7, 9 pair. This is a 5. This can't be a 5. Therefore, this is 1, 3, 4, that's a 2. Uh, the 4 over here means that the only place 4 can go is here. That actually locks... Oh, this actually couldn't be a 1. No, oh, that's, that's useful. Uh, so this hat... Man, did I... Uh, in the entire bonus video, I don't think I spotted that once. Um, wait, couldn't one of these be a 1? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure about that logic. But what I am sure about is that this leaves only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, five, six, and eight. So neither of these can be a six. Uh, these, this two six pair here actually takes these out of contention for six. This seven means that these can't be sevens. So one of these has to be a 6. I thought I actually got to lock down which one. Oh, there we go. This, this can't be a 9. So that's a 7. That's a 6. Uh, so this 6 means this can't be a 6. These 6s mean this can't be a 6. This 6 means this can't be a 6. So none of these can be a 6. So if this was our 1... 2, 5 triple, where would a 6 go in this column? It can't. Therefore, this has to be 1, 2, 5. Oop. What have I done? No, I've just put those the wrong way around. 1, 5, 2. And that's quite nice, because that gives me a 3, a 1. These have to be a... Hmm. I thought these had to be something, but maybe they don't. Uh, this has to be a 9 now. These have to be 6, 7, 8, 9. And one of these three has to be an 8, but that's kind of implied. Okay, the 5, 6, 8 here means that if this is a... The only way this can have a 1 in it is if this is 5 and this is 1, 2. I think that's actually fine. This is, this is the bit that I was worried would unravel the whole puzzle. This would have to be 5, 1, 2. And I think putting those digits in is going to get me a lot of information, whereas I only added it to completely... To, to resolve the thing at the very, very end of the puzzle. So I'm glad that it's not unfolding at all early. That is a nice little bonus. Uh, maybe, maybe it will. Maybe I'm just missing something. But right now it doesn't seem to be. So... What do we know? These have to be 6, 7, 8, 9, 
in some order. This one can't be an eight. A lot of my puzzles, uh, because I like, for me, when I'm making a Sudoku, I want the numbers to mean something. I don't want to be like, look, you can just change any of these numbers to anything. It's a thing that I've learned from board game design, use every part of the buffalo. So I like in my puzzles for the numbers to mean something. I have, yeah, I think, exactly one puzzle, uh, Tex-Mex, where it doesn't. In every other one, it's either a killer or it's uh, a thermo or it's using my Python Minesweeper system. Yeah, in every, in every other one of my puzzles, the numbers are significant as numbers. And so because of that, you end up doing a lot of sums or a lot of look at the surrounding spaces, and those are more often than not one, two, three, four. So I'm very used to all my one, two, three, fours, fives being placed very early in the puzzles. And then the six, seven, eight, nines being, as in this one, the kind of the, the tricky ones to place at the end. This can't be five, that gives us a five there. Um, five has to be, oh, five can't be there. So five has to be one of these two, and that actually gives us the sum here. It's a one, two, five. This is not a five or a two, so that gives us a one, seven, one. There we go. There's the nine that I was thinking about. These can't be ones anymore. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine. This can't be an eight, this can't be an eight, this can't be an eight, should have just not typed it in really. This can't be a nine, this can't be a seven. I'm pretty sure this can't be a six, two, but I'm not seeing why right now. This is a, only two left, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That makes these. Three, eight, nine. This can't be three. That gives me an eight, nine pair. That makes this one a three, or another way to say it is the only way a three can be in this cup, in this row is right here. Uh, that's almost all the threes down. No, it's not. It's just some of the threes down. <laughs> Hooray! We've put some of the some of the digits in the grid. Well done. Go us. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Four has to be one of those two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Classic seven, eight, nine. We love it. Um, what's next? I think next time I do one of these videos, I'm going to have to skip my solves because they are very lengthy. They're as lengthy as a, as a typical cracking the Cricket video in themselves, and I have to do it so many times that uh, hope, hopefully it's not ruining this experience for you, but I don't think it's the most compelling watching. This has to be a seven. It takes a seven out of those. So now seven in this grid has to be here. Two has to be here, I think. It can't go there, it can't go there or there. Why can't it go here? Oh, it could go here. These, this corner notation is actually a little bit misleading. I thought this was the only place a two could go, but it's the only place a two could go if this cage adds up to eight. Very specific. Ah. Two six from that two and also that six. Are there any cages that I haven't resolved here? At this stage, again, from my memory of the solve, I normally get the six and nine at this point, but I'm not seeing it. How do I get this six and nine, I wonder? Oh, this can't be three, six. This can't be six. This is a four. So 
that's a seven nine pair so this can't be seven or nine these can't be seven or nine Oops. these can't be seven or nine my one big complaint about f puzzles is when you undo it it takes your cursor off and so i have to suddenly go from keyboard to clicking and i don't like that i'm a fussy man these can't be sixes that gives me a one here a four here one four three now my threes are almost placed i was gonna say placed again still not still not placed uh this is the only place a seven can go in this column seven nine now this is a nine six there we go now my sixes are resolved Ah, it's so satisfying unwinding it all. Especially because for a long time that part of the puzzle was broken and just would not unwind. <laughs> so the fact that it does is doubly satisfying. It's the normal satisfaction of unwinding and the bonus satisfaction of your puzzle not being broken. Um, okay, home stretch now. These can't have a one in it anymore. Therefore, one of these has to be an eight. That means that these can't be an eight. This is, this is the new feature to the puzzle. This has to be an eight. This has to be a six. That unravels the two six down here. Uh, six, nine, seven, nine, six, eight. There we go. Uh, the eights that I just put down unravel this. Nine, six, seven, nine, seven. This has to be a one. That was honestly from memory. It, it, is, it is obviously deductible, but I just know that that has to be a one. This is the only where an eight can go. Uh, the, the only thing left to go in that box is an eight. So that's four, eight, nine, eight, two. Ha, ah, there we go. So that is how I set a killer Sudoku. Uh, or, or a Sudoku. I come up with a premise, I play around with it, and then eventually I end up with a grid that is solvable. And then the next step is to put it for me into the Discord and say, hey, will someone test this? And if you're very, very lucky and people are feeling very kind, they will test it. And if you're unlucky, it'll be broken. But fortunately, people are pretty patient because that's the point of testing the puzzles. Once one other person has done it, I'll generally be like, okay, I know that this is definitely solvable and I will release it. I am Peter C. Hayward, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you would like to check out my Sudokus, I have this lovely Sudoku page at pdchayward.com slash sudoku.html. You can also find me at beard.blue, that is my uh, personal website, and that will link you straight to my Sudokus. Beard.blue, I'll let you work out why. Uh, at the bottom of this is my Logic Masters Germany page. If you do try my, one of my Sudokus, I would love it if you went over and gave me a rating. Uh, I've been having some pretty good success with these snake puzzles lately. I still have one, one unsolved puzzle from uh, two weeks ago. Uh, not unsolved, unrated, because uh, you, only, you only get a public rating on Logic Masters Germany once you have a certain number of solves. So if you do feel like going and trying my hardest puzzle I've ever made, <laughs> uh, I think it's very good. Um, you, might, uh, you might agree. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have, and if you have, I might make another one because this was ridiculously long and I'm sure I could work out ways to trim the fat a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and live, live your life. Be a, be a happy fellow. Bye-bye.